man, this fish is, he is just dogging it out. There's a lot of fish here. Looky there. Looky there. That circle hook's right there in his jaw again. There he is. Wow. Was I tell you what, you couldn't ask for a better day. Another good fish. Incredible. Well, everyone, right here is the rig that we're using today. Like I told you, it's a very simple rig to use. And I just so happen to be using a 125-pound test monofilament leader right now. Basically, I'm using a 75-pound or 100-pound swivel right up here at the top, tying a small surgeon's knot there to make a loop. I'm coming down the leader shaft probably about 14 inches, and I'm putting another surgeon's knot in the leader itself. What that does is it allows this sinker to come down here and stop at that point because see I don't want to if I don't have to have this sinker on this main line because it'll chafe it and it'll it'll wear it down over time so I try to if, if, if at all possible make sure the weight stays on the leader itself it'll stop at that knot and then I have probably about 18 to 20 inches of leader below the surgeon's knot tied to a to a 11 aught mustad circle hook as you can see this is an odd shape hook, how it's bend in, how it's got an in turn bend right here at the end. And that right there allows this to lock around the fish's jaw. Now it's a pretty simple process because when they grab the bait and they swim off, this just rolls right into place, which allows the fish to be released in a very good condition. And the bait we was using today, right here we have a mullet. And just to show you what we was doing today, we've been cutting this mullet into pieces. And what you want to do is you want to think about the size of the fish's mouth. And you don't never want to put more bait on there than you really need to put on. Because anything more in a mouthful makes it difficult for that fish to get this bait in his mouth quickly, swim off, and allowing a circle hook to do its job. Remember, a circle hook is designed to where you need maximum hook exposure for it to work the best. If you'll put it through here and just bring it out the top, as you can see right here, when that fish takes this bait in his mouth, when that fish swims off, it'll roll right around and catch him right around the jaw. Y'all, this is a very simple approach to red fishing. It's a tactic and a technique that anybody can use to make themselves able to come out here and catch these redfish. It's always good to talk to some of the local guides or whatnot. If you really want to learn more about fishing, it's best maybe to hire a guide and let them show you some of the ins and outs. And I'd recommend you call Golden Isles Charter Fishing Association, area code 912-638-7673 for that information, for booking a charter, and maybe they can even give you some points on where the local boat ramps are and whatnot. But look here, y'all come on down here to Georgia. Take this simple rig that I've showed you today and apply it and try to use it for yourself and you'll find out it'll work just fine. My name is Captain Mark Noble, and I appreciate you watching our show today, and I hope you'll watch again. I'll see you real soon.